Pero mañana va a ir el doctor. Mañana va a ir. Hello, Hector. Hello. Can you hear me? You hear me? Hello. Hello. You hear me? I can hear you. Oh, let me. Sorry. Now it's my my speakers. In that? In yeah. Now? Nah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, me let. Good evening. Good night. Good. Good night is when you go to bed. Ah, okay. Good evening. Yes. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay. We are about to start. Let me share the screen. Okay. And how was your day? So I see Hector is at work. Yes, sir. And I have a hard day. Hard day. You had a hard day? Yes, sir. Oh, why? Too windy? No. Activities administration. Ah. Yeah. In, inside the airport. Okay. And drive, drive in the, in the truck. <coughs> uh, mm -hmm. uh, area aeronautic. This is what? difficult. Drive huh? in the in the sun in the sun aeronautic. Oh really? Yes, sir. Oh, too much traffic. Uh, you can um, in this case, you have um, how did you say? Uh, be careful with mm -hmm. the with the. With the uh, the plane uh, push back at the oh. Ovalo and you try in the in the sun. Oh, when the, when the plane push back, you can stop and see the um, the boy <coughs> uh, uh, making um, uh, how did you say señales? Um, signs, signs, mm -hmm. and 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 see the the move of the airplane when the when the airplane pass to the uh, line red. Okay. I can drive in the in the, in the truck free. Okay. Very good. Thank you. You, Jamilet, how was your day? Um, well, my day, I work all day. Um, I went to 4 p.m. I called the candidata, how do you say? Candidatas? Candidatas. Uh -huh, Candid oh, so the... the, the... For, hiding, for hiding. Yeah, the applicants. Applicants. Okay. The applicants. The applicants. Mm -hmm. I work the computer for formularios. And, and where, ah, forms. Forms. Filling, filling out forms. Oh. No. And, and where do you work? For, I work in Textiles Opico and the Yuma Resort. Ah, Textiles Opico. Okay, I know that place. Interesting. I care my girl. Okay. Good. Busy day. And Ricardo. Hola, buenas noches. Voy entrando. No sé, no se me perdí en la clase ahorita. No problem. I'm just, I'm just asking. How was your day? 
Uh, my name is Ricardo. Mm, how was your day? Uh, how was? Day, your... ah, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice vendedor? Yeah. You're a salesperson? I... Salesperson. Ah, uh, uh, I salesperson in the leashes. Leashes? Leashes a store. Sí. Oh, store. where? Um, in San Salvador? Ah, uh, no, in Santa Tecla. Oh, in Santa Tecla. Ah, yes. okay. Okay, did you sell many shoes? Yes. Did you sell many shoes today? No. 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 No vendiste muchos zapatos. No, ahora no. Ahora no. Es que como estoy de vacaciones. Oh, okay. Ajá, por eso. Okay. And Claudia, how are you? How was your day? Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm, fine. Uh -huh. Fine. Uh, it's very tranquil away in the world. Very calm. Slow. Yes, yeah. yeah. see. Sí. A slow, you say. It was a slow day. Okay, a slow mm -hmm. day. Now, okay. And where do you work? Uh, I have a computer. Oh, okay. Good. Are you a salesperson or or in the office? In the office. Ah. In 1998, I was an a, an agent from for AFP Porvenir. Ah, oh, really? Yes, I work for Porvenir and for Crecer. Oh, la competencia. Yeah, but a long time ago, 1998. Yes. It was good. It Did was good. Yes. But now people don't like IFPs. Sí. Yeah. Por la ley. Yes, it's terrible. Oh. Sí. In this time, in this time, este, Saúl, you, uh -huh. you, you, you was a, a customer in the AFP? Oh, I was an agent. Agent. Uh-huh, an agent. Your, and your client. Yes, I was an agent. I was selling the services. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, affiliating people to the IFPs. I remember we used to go to factories, we used to go to uh, social security office. Ah, yeah, ah. yeah. You, visit the, you visit the the office and government, uh, yes, someone else, yes. Okay. Okay, let's get it started tonight. It's time for our class. So welcome one more time to Inglés Corporativo. Hi everyone. In this class. Hey, hey who's playing the video? <laughs> okay, tonight we're going to start talking about questions with D was and where so how to ask questions in the past that is what we are going to study tonight how to ask or make questions in past tense so let's start with this video so i'm gonna mute your microphones for a moment to watch the video without any interruption okay and then we're going to talk hi everyone in this class you learn to ask and answer wh questions with did was and where 
Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that we need to add the subject, you. Next we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally we can add a complement. In this case there is no complement. Towards the right hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums.
Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Let's get started with this conversation between Melissa and Chuck again. So let's practice, please. And then we are going to study the, the form of a simple past questions, okay? okay. Repeat okay. after me, please. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? So, so Chuck, Chuck, where did you grow up? up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? When did you come when to, to, to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Oh, what, what was, was your major? major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Well, I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So, why did you become a hairstylist? That's interesting. Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um, <laughs> okay. Now, I am Elisa and you are Chuck, okay? So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. Drama. I was, I was an actor an for five years, five years after college. college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because, because I needed I the money. Need the money. money. I love it. I love it. Look, what, what do you think? What do you think? Well, um, yeah, it seems she didn't like her, her style. Okay, now you are Melissa and I am Chuck. You begin. One, two, three. So, so, so where did you grow up? up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And, and when, when did, did you come, come to Los Angeles? To Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what, 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 what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's, That's interesting. interesting. So why did you, so why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, well. well. Okay, good. Any question with the conversation? See, what is the meaning major? Your uh, major. Ah, uh, what was your major? Major. Major. Okay, and look at Chuck's response. He says, drama. Drama. What? With, uh, similar to dream. Dream. Uh -huh. Yeah, profession or career. Ah, okay. So the the major is the the principal or the main topic in your career. So what was your major? Ah, engineering. <coughs> what was your major? Medicine. What was your major? Architecture. Okay, so is the is the subject of your career. Okay. Okay. Thank 
Mm, any other question? No. No. How do you pronounce this word? Um, hair stylist. Yeah, hair stylist. Okay. Hair stylist. Okay, repeat please. Hair stylist. Hair stylist. Hair stylist. Yeah, hair stylist. <clears throat> Another question. What is for American people, what is college? Um, como un técnico. Yes. A, a bachelor. Not exactly. Uh, it's a bachelor degree. Okay. Um, college okay. is like. So it's like a, a technical career or a technical. College is the institution where you go to study a technical careers. Okay. It's not university. It's not, it's not university, right? No. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, so we have school, college, and university. Okay, but it's not colegio, okay? Don't do not mistake no, this like word for no. colegio. No. No, bachillerato yeah. is high school. High school. High school. Yeah, it no, todavía es school. Técnico. Sí, es como un técnico. ¿verdad? Es como un lugar donde eh, intermedio. Okay. So college. Okay. Okay. Todavía cuando es bachillerato es school. Okay. Good. Very good. Now let's take a look to the to the grammar about questions in past. Uh, we are going to see this later. Okay, let's practice these questions. Repeat, please. Where did you grow up? Where did you Where grow, you grow up? up? I grew up in Texas. I grew, I grew up, up, in up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? When did you, when come, did you come to Los Angeles? Angeles. Angeles. Yeah. In English is Angeles. Angeles. I came to Los Angeles in 1990. I have. Eight. I came to Los Angeles, Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Because I needed the money. Okay, let's stop with this part because this is one. Okay. Uh, this is about a simple past tense with different verbs. If you observe for questions, mm -hmm. the structure is the structure is this. Okay, where is mine? The structure is this. Okay. For questions mm -hmm. with regular verbs or irregular verbs. First, we use the WH word. Where, what, who, when, etc. Okay? The WH word. Second, did. The next, the subject, you in this case, then the verb in present form. 
And finally, the complement, okay? So this is the structure. If you see, first, where, when, or why. Next, did. Then the subject. And finally, the verb. And the verb is in present. Okay? Different is in affirmative sentences. In affirmative sentences, the verb is in past. Only for affirmative sentences. I grew up in Texas. I needed the money. Okay? Any question with this? <coughs> No. Okay. Very good. Now, the, the other section is for questions with was or were. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the same. You see, first, esto es lo mismo, ¿verdad? En otra forma. Lo primero. The WH word. Who, what, when, where, why, how. Next, did. Next, subject. And finally, the verb in present. Okay? Esta es la estructura de este tipo de preguntas. Ahí tienen en el WhatsApp, tienen estas imágenes para que les queden de repasar. Now let's take a look to questions with was or where. Estas ya son con el verbo to be. Las anteriores son con los demás verbos. Estas son con el verbo to be. Okay? The structure is WH word. Mm -hmm. Luego was or where okay primero wh word después was or where next the subject and finally complement bueno aquí no 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 hay otro verbo verdad no let's practice repeat please how old were you in 1990? How old were you, old in, were you in 1990? I was 18. I was, I was 18. 18. What was your major in college? What was, what was your major, major in college? college? It was drama. It was, it was drama. drama. How was college? How was college? It was great. It was great. Okay. Any question here? About this. Uh huh. About this, the sentences. Oh. I'm sorry. About this example? No, for me. No. I, 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 I don't know. I don't get your question. No, no comprendo qué es lo que me está preguntando. Hector. No, no, que I don't have a, a, any question about this. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Good. So, and here, lo mismo, ¿verdad? En otro cuadrito. Para, lo mismo. Okay. Okay. Yeah, primero, WH word. Who, what, when, where, why, how. Luego, was o where, dependiendo de el sujeto. Was I, were you, was he, she, it, were you, we, they. 
Es el, el mismo, pero nada, el mismo orden de este tipo de preguntas. Ok. Now, um, I have some questions here for you to practice. Okay. I, I, I put these questions in, in WhatsApp also, so you can check this. Okay. Real information. Where were you born? Where were you born? Okay. But for me, let me try. I was born in San Salvador. Okay. I was born in San Salvador. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Barrio Santa Anita. I grew up in Barrio Santa Anita. Where did you graduate from high school? Okay, I graduated from uh, Externado San Jose School. Okay. Uh -huh. External. So this is me. Okay. What did you study in high school? Okay. I studied science. Where did you go on your last vacation? Okay, I went to Guatemala. 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 What did you eat for lunch today? Okay. I ate spaghetti. Spelling spaghetti. And what time did you get up this morning? I got up at what time? 6 a.m. Okay, this is about me. So I want you to respond these questions about you. I will give you five minutes to respond to these questions. And then I put you in small groups to ask each other the questions, to practice asking and responding the questions, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Let's, let's do it. I'm going to mute your microphones to avoid interference. <laughs> 